Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake On His Onyx, freshly shaven today, looking smart. So, we've got a special day today, we've got animal delivery, customer orders, so it's nothing spectacular. Uh, it's not loads of animals, it's just some for the for uh, customers that have ordered them in. So we'll go through, we'll unbox them, we'll set them up, we'll go through and do any other jobs we've got to do today. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me, and let's crack on with animal delivery day. <laughs> Time to unbox some animals! So, customer orders. It's actually going to two friends. The uh, one family came in, ordered theirs and paid for all theirs. And then his friend came down about an hour later and bought one. So there's two friends having uh, lizards together, which is pretty cool. So first, do you know I have to pre-open it and stuff like that? So it's not a proper unboxing, but with it, Sort of is. I have to make sure everyone's okay while the driver's here. So we have here Super Hypo Leopard Gecko. Look at him. Very nice gecko. So that one looks really good. I'm really happy with these. They came in a good size as well. We don't want baby babies because it's a bit too sensitive and I prefer selling more mature animals. So it's easier for the customer to look after them. It's, they, they, they do better settling in. They're not as high strung, they're not as nervous. They feed better and, uh, and quicker at the new, new, uh, their new home. So uh, I prefer sub-adults to juveniles, something like that, I don't worry. I like, we love babies, everyone loves babies, but in the, selling and for the best thing for the animal and the customer i think juveniles to sub adults unless they know what they're doing and they really really want a baby then we'll try our best to get one but i think what we do is, is the best way so here we have a normal leopard gecko he's dug himself a little nook in the tortoise shoe so that's all we've got at the moment it's a bit of tail let's see if we can find it Oh, ooh, nice. Doesn't have the wings like the other one we had. Look at him. Absolutely beautiful. Okie dokie then. So we're covering back up. We're going to set the tanks up. I think they're pretty much ready to go. We just have to check in water bowls and stuff like that. We can place them in. Then we can go around and do some more jobbos. Whoa had another forever home today. Bruce, the big curly haired tarantula, has got a forever home. He went this morning. I didn't get any videos of it. It was first thing this morning, first customers in, and uh, we just did a quick transfer, and uh, they want, they was in a bit of a rush to get him get him home. So uh, I didn't mess about filming, and uh, but he's got a forever home. He was a good sized tarantula as well. So we've still got the juvenile curly hair. Uh, I've upgraded her into Bruce's old tank. Uh, so yeah, she's really happy. We might try and feed her today, actually. She might not, actually, with the new tank. But we can still put some food in. Um, the tiger rump hasn't ate, I don't think it's ever ate since it's been here. So uh, I think it's due a shed and it's waiting to shed for everything to be perfect. So, oh, let's do some gecko tanks then we can feed and potter around some other jobbers. Okay, so I'm at the tank. The only problem we've got, bulbous, no goers. No goers in the bulbous. So we're gonna have to take the bulbous out, put a fresh bulb in, hopefully that just fixes everything and away we go. So let's start taking it apart. Very easy, we just pop over the spring goes. But it's easier to do when you've got more than one hand free. Come on baby, ow. Hit, get out of it. Lovely. Oh, we've got a fresh locust. Look at that. Oh, crispy. Crispy creams. Okay, let's have a look. Bulbous Brocus. Yes, let's get a new one. In the two foot tanks, you don't want to go with a 100 watt bulb. Anywhere between 40 and 60 is absolutely fine. It can quite easily do that for the tank. 
you put a hundred watt in, but to be fair, as long as you've got a thermostat in there, you'd be fine. But your, your problem is you, you'd find is the bulb spends most of the time off because it does such a good job at warming it up that it's on for seconds and then turns off, so you might get a lot of flashing. Um, these nice little bulbs will stay nice and dim. Oh, okay, let's put it in. So you got to remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Ho ho ho. Oh, we have power, baby. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Cooking with gas we are today. So we have heat, we have hides, we have bowls. Let's get a gecko. I think, yes, we've got the normal one on top. So we did the spinner rooney, didn't we? So, well, swap over. Something. We, we moved them around. <laughs> okay, so I'll take the lid off with both hands and then I'll show you. Okay. So I'm going to give him a little once over. Check how he's doing. Hey. Oh, yes. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got all our toesies. Tails looking good. Oh, we've got a bit of a wiggle bump. Um, can't tell from the side if it's a boy or a girl yet. Might have to have a little sneak peek underneath. Can we see? Oh. Okay, down you go. We'll check if you're a boy or girl another day. Yes, we will. You're looking very nice, eh? You're looking very nice. Would you like a locust? Let's get a locust, see if she's hungry. Okay. Why not? Because it's the first time in the new enclosure. So I thought I'd give it a go. What do you think of this? Can you see it? You a hungry gecko? Hmm, I don't think so. We'll put it in. And then she can have it if she wants to. Oh, oh, oh. You spotted it then, didn't you? Interested, but I'm not sure if they're hungry. We we'll leave him to it, let him settle in, and we'll move on to the next one. I've just realised we've got to do some swisheroonies. We've had some customers that haven't collect their animals bang on time, so they've left an extra couple of days, so we've got a tank that's not ready. So we've got to do some jigging around. What I don't want to do is put one of the juveniles in a slightly larger tank than what I would think would be perfect for them. Uh, I want to keep them the nice small ones for now so they can settle in a lot quicker. It's easier for them to find their food. But we do have an adult in the smaller tanks because we've got the Fasco. So we're going to upgrade the Fasco to the three foot, which is a perfect size for her. Now she's fully grown. Um, and we're going to put the new juvenile, the Super Hypo, in her tank. So we're going to move her up there and put that one in there and then away we go. Problem solved. So here's the tank. Here's my substrate. We have a mix of cocoa fiber and Leo life, and for a little bit of flair, we've got a bit of um, beardy life in there as well. So we're getting a right mix up today. So let's chuck some in. It's a little bit damper than what I was hoping. The uh, cocoa fiber hasn't quite dried out to its perfect consistency, but you know we like making our new substrate. So it's been working really well on our rubber geckos. So I'm going to carry on the trend of mixing the sand and everything with cocoa fibre. So I really like what we're, the consistency and the results we've been getting from the animals. So we've been getting nice sheds, toes completely clear and that as well. I haven't really been doing any sprays. Um, I am considering doing like one a week. Just, uh, just on the substrate a tiny bit. Um, just to give it that little bit of every so often a little bit of rain. I'm trying to recreate natural environment as much as possible for the geckos. It's like a little experiment sort of thing. So I'm gonna get the rest of this in and then away we go. Okay, this is what we got. 
Loop straight is a lot darker than what it is. Problem is, it's a, uh, quite a red sand, and when the red sand goes, gets wet, it goes to a darker brown colour. So there is a lot of sand in there, you just can't see it at the moment. But uh, give it a day or two, and she'll be lovely and dry on top, with a nice damper underneath layer, which will be perfect. So uh, let's go catch ourselves a gecko. Here she is! The little fast co leopard gecko. Okay, darling, you ready? In we go. What do you think to this? You don't look very impressed. Do you want to go on your crocodile? What do you think? Do I leave you to it? You don't look very impressed at all. Mmm. Well, we'll let her settle in. And we'll crack on with the baby. Just freshen this one up a bit with some fresh substrate. Uh, this one is Leo Life and Cocoa Fiber because I've run out of Beardy Life. Some customer just gave me a little bag with just a tiny bit in, so I thought I'd use it. Um, so, yeah, we're in there now. So, let's go crash ourselves a little gecko. So I'm doing about, I'd say maybe 25% cocoa, 75% sand because uh, cocoa does take over a little bit um, so yeah about 25 to 75 sand uh, and it works really well okay so there's our lovely little one I don't like doing it with one hand I don't like shaking the tub it'll be nice and steady there we go hey how are you doing Oh, look at you. You're beautiful, you are. Do you want to go in your tank? We've set all our toes are there. We've got no stuck shadow. Can we see the sex? So, mm, not at the moment. Not at the moment. We need a different angle. So, I'm going to put you down on here if I can. There you go. There you go, darling. And we'll let her get comfy. I'm not gonna, I'll, I will trick a locust in, but I'm not gonna mess her around with it because she's not gonna eat it because she's so new. There we go, everybody. I didn't expect the switch of Rooney because I was expecting the customer to come today, but they didn't turn up. So they are coming, they're just delayed in a little bit. So we had to do the extra switch of Rooney, which I didn't unplan on. So we have run out of time today. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. Watching the video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, she lives up there. If you want to playlist, it's up there. Apart from that, we'll see you in the future. Bye.